Hi everyone, my name is Randy Nguyen, and we will be talking about anorolepta or eumeclidinium and volanterol for generic. This is the table of contents. First, we will be discussing indication and dosing. Second, dosing adjustments. Third, mechanism of action. Fourth, patient monitoring. Fifth, patient consultation. And lastly, sixth, being references. So first, Indication and dosing. What is it used for? What dose should patients use? A neuroleptic is only used for one indication being chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD for short. It comes in a dry powder inhaler that is a combination drug of eumeclidinium 62.5 mics and volanterol 25 mics per actuation. The dosage and directions are to take one inhalation daily in particular, a neurolipta is a dual bronchodilator that acts both as a long-acting muscarinic antagonist, or LAMA for short, and a long-acting beta-2 adrenergic agonist, or LABA for short, and may be taken with an inhaled corticosteroid for COPD depending on patient symptoms and exacerbation risk. Next, we have dosing adjustments. In renal and hepatic insufficiency, what should the dose be? Good news, for both hepatic and renal impairment, there are no dosage adjustments that are required. Next, we have mechanism of action. How does the medication work? As a combination drug of both eumeclidinium and volanterol, there are two mechanisms of action, one being the LAMA component, eumeclidinium, acting to inhibit binding of acetylcholine to M3 muscarinic receptors, and block bronchoconstricting effects of acetylcholine leading to bronchodilation. All the while, the LABA component of lanterol activates B2 receptors and promotes bronchodilation. Both agents act to maximize bronchodilation, allowing for better breathing and reducing the amount of flare-ups in patients. Next, we have patient monitoring. What should we monitor in patients? Starting from the top, when a patient is on a neurolipta, measure respiratory function with FEV1, peak flow, and other pulmonary function tests. FEV1 is forced expiratory volume in one second, being how much air can the patient force out of their lungs in one second, and gauges how severe the patient's COPD is. Peak flow is how quickly the patient can blow out air from their lungs, and will indicate the level of tightness and inflammation severity that is occurring in the airways. Next, for labs and vitals, we want to measure serum potassium, serum glucose, blood pressure, and heart rate. In patients using a neurolipta, it has been found that side effects may be low levels of potassium, high levels of blood sugar, or increased blood pressure and heart rate due to the LABA component or volanterol. Lastly, for other new or worsened eye problems as well as acute narrow angle glaucoma is another side effect of the use of a neuro, which can cause permanent loss of vision if not treated. Some signs and symptoms may be eye pain or discomfort due to the pressure, blurred vision, or seeing halos, but we will discuss more in the patient consultation next section. Some things to monitor are hypersensitivity to the medication and urinary retention. Patient consultation. What should we tell the patient when they pick up their medication? The medication name is Noroalipta or Eumeclidinium and Volanterol for generic and it is used strictly for COPD. If the patient is allergic to the medication or milk, have asthma, or is concomitantly using any other anticholinergic medications, let the doctor know right away. Furthermore, if the patient experiences any breathing problems, have comorbid diabetes, or plan on getting pregnant or is breastfeeding, inform the doctor as therapeutic changes need to be made. Due to the use of volanterol, the LABA component of this medication, the patient may experience chest pain, increased blood pressure, irregular heartbeat or nervousness, and they need to call the doctor right away. The patient may also experience changes in laboratory values such as high levels of blood sugar and low levels of potassium. Urinary retention symptoms may develop or worsen comorbid symptoms such as difficulty or painful urination 
urinating frequently or weak stream or drips when urinating. Lastly, the use of a neurolipta may cause permanent loss of vision due to narrow angle glaucoma. If the patient has any symptoms such as eye pain or discomfort, nausea or vomiting, blurred vision, seeing halos or red eyes, inform them to call the doctor right away. Some side effects that are to be expected are possible cold-like symptoms, pain in the extremities, irregular bowel movements, and muscle pain or spasms. This drug is taken the same time each day and advise the patient not to take the inhaler out of the foil tray before use and to close the device after each use. This medication should be stored at room temperature in a dry environment away from heat and light. After opening the foil pack, the medication must be thrown away after six weeks or when the counter reaches zero, whichever comes first. Lastly, the next slide will be my references. Here are my references. Thank you all for your time.